Hello everyone, happy Monday. Today we are going to be doing kind of like a modified exquisite corpse. So I'm super psyched um, to be creating some art with one of my good friends, Ketter, who's going to be joining us shortly and we need some pretty simple materials today. So friendly reminder, those of you that are just joining us maybe for the first time or are here a lot, um, welcome. I am Sarah Krajewski, your host for this Make Art With Me weekly Monday art making session. Um, hopefully meant to give you a chance to really tap into your creativity. Um, a lot of us as art educators or um, creatives sometimes don't set aside that time for ourselves to make sure we're really drawing and creating or doing things that just give us life and spark our interest a little bit. So Ketter will be joining us here shortly and we're going to get started with some pretty simple materials. If you draw along with us today, feel free to tag us after the fact. Tag myself, Ketter, um, the Art of Bed, so we can see what you are up to, and that will also give you the chance to win. Look, I have it close by me today. One of these really cool rainbow stickers. That was a really special song for you all. Anyways, so I'm gonna get Ketter in here for you, and we are gonna get to work. Okay, hot done. Chappelle. Friends, hold on. Yeah, <gasps> oh. it's your window. Oh, hi, there I am. Hey, welcome, hi. my friend. How are you? Good. I love your song so much. Good. It's just it's, it's a lot of singing. Actually, one of my my uh, like helpers that helps in my classroom. She's like, when you start singing in your classroom, I know something's up. And I'm like, yeah, it can be good That's or it can be kind of like coping. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It's awesome. Here, I'm so it's excited so good to see you. with you today. Before we get started, can you just tell everybody just a quick like intro as to who you are as a human? Yes. Um, hello. Thank you for joining everyone who's out there. My name is Ketter. Rhymes with Cheddar. Um, I am a user experience designer by day, so that means that people tell me what challenges them about software applications, and I just make them to be better. And then I also do lot, lots of comics, drawing, drawing lots of comics at night. And I also volunteer with our very own Sarah's classroom once a month. Yeah, where yeah. I have the best time and it is the joy of every month. I, <laughs> I don't know what I've done to deserve you, Ketter, but um, Ketter's Good been coming here. in once a month this year. And it's been super cool because the kiddos get so excited. And it's just fun because there's like this really cool drawing style that you have it's silly and entertaining and it's just i love being able to show students that things don't always have to be so serious so you're part of that too okay what do we need today to draw we kept it pretty simple as far as the materials go like what kind yep. of stuff do we need if we're going to draw together oh my gosh you'd need very little so um as you probably saw you just need like a little piece of paper yeah. any kind of paper even if it's smaller than this this is just like a normal piece of printer paper and then anything to draw with. So I've got a pencil and an eraser. I've also got Sharpie on hand. Um, you can use markers if you want. I've got some of those. Um, and like, I don't know, we're going to see. I might experiment today. I've got a sticker book. Maybe I'll add some stickers. I don't know. Um, and I think you mentioned also magazine clippings. If you wanted to, to go wild and have fun, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. So, but at the very least, you need just a piece of paper and something to okay. draw with. Perfect. I love it. It doesn't have to be complicated. Now, the reason I mentioned a magazine was because Ketter and I actually, because we live close to each other and um, know each other, did a little bit of pre-work, which I don't typically have for an Instagram Live. Um, so I wanted to give you all an option. If you're just joining us and you haven't done anything to prepare for this or maybe don't have a buddy next by, next you know, next to you that you can do a little switcheroo with, you can always just grab something for like a start. For example, I literally just looked through my magazine clipping and this like very picturesque lady could be part of, uh, <laughs> could be part of like what we're gonna do. So you just need like a part of some sort of creature or monster or person. So you have like a top and bottom. Um, a lot of us are pretty familiar or maybe not uh, with the exquisite corpse, uh, which I just learned was um, started with like it was based out of this French um, idea or like this drawing prompt Ooh. that basically just meant like exquisite cadaver. Ketter. What? Isn't that? I crazy? didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like this, this, it translates to, uh, to a cadaver or so I just read. So hopefully my okay. sources are correct. But I believe 
basically we're just mm -hmm. going to combine all these ideas with like these parts yep. to make um some sort of like crazy creature and Ketter and I are going to do it just in half um to make it kind of simple so you only need a half of one today so Ketter how do you suggest that we get started with like our our drawing today because we have a little pre prep yeah. but what do you think we should do first so what I would do is make sure you grab your piece of paper and then fold it in okay. half this would be hot dog style yeah hot dog style um yeah. and then you're just gonna from there you're gonna if you want what i like doing is i like starting with a, a pencil to start sketching out what i like to do and then i'll outline it with sharpie but you can go right in with sharpie if you want or okay. or a marker okay, perfect. um yeah, so that's what I would do. I would first just start folding it in half. This is my top, obviously, for one that I've done. Um, and then, Sarah, can I, can I, like, unveil the one that you sent yeah. me? Because that's the one yeah. that I'm doing. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, my cats might make an appearance, and I can't stop it. But that just Hi. might happen. This is Marty. <laughs> hey, Marty. Um, okay. So Sarah did this really amazing thing where she hid, she hid the top from me. So I can't see it. So I'm going to unveil it tonight to see what she to see what she did. And I will draw the bottom tonight of the creature that we're making. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this is something fun you can do with a friend or anyone else. You could you could do this where you actually don't show the person the top if you don't want to and then unveil it to them for a little surprise. Okay. All right, and you even put this little cute little card in here. It's so through. It's so good. I was like, it's so smart. <laughs> okay, so this is the one that Sarah drew for me. <laughs> this is so good. And then, I think I'm going to use this one today, actually. This might be my favorite. Yeah, yeah. This is the one that I'll use. These are a couple others that Sarah drew. So you can draw multiples for people and have them pick which bottom they want to do for their character. Uh, pretty cute. <laughs> pretty cute. I, I had so much fun and you know usually for like the exquisite corpse kind of um drawing prompt i feel like part of it is the fun of the surprise which could be the surprise of literally you opening it right now and being like oh my god i'm gonna have so much fun designing something for this or not even looking and then using those two little like lines just to draw it, whether you know if it's like the top or the bottom or whatever right so again yep. just like a top half and a bottom half keeping it pretty simple Ketter, I'm going to show off some of yours because they're so cute. And then I'm going to just try to decide which one to do because, like, <laughs> so cute. So we did, we just had, like, a little fun drawing first. So we were just getting some stuff on the page. Look at this little magical frog <laughs> situation. Um, okay. Cow with a collar feels about right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Feels, feels about right. And I honestly love, love this little, like, sassy <laughs> cowboy fish like what's happening so good so um for those of you that maybe don't have something to start with you can maybe just draw half of it and then gift that to a buddy and say like hey finish the bottom of this whether you see the the creation or not and then just go from there so i'm going to turn my camera down a little bit ketter if you want to join us in doing that and try to get that the old I just mess up too um this one. yeah Try to get it looking fancy pants. Get it here from the top. There we go. Okay. So, uh, and then just a little pro tip for y'all too. Um, if you want to do just the half and half one, like uh, Ketter and I did, I just mm -hmm. bought those blank cards from like any local craft store and they have the pre, like, you know, what do you call that? Folded? Creased? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. creased um, thing in them. So they were like super helpful. I could just get it exactly half and then I just like tucked it in the envelope to hide it from Ketter. So, okay. You're so I'm great. Gonna, I'm gonna just <laughs> shuffle. <laughs> okay. And I'm actually going to fold yours because I kind of don't want to remember everything about the top half. I want to yeah. go in a little bit surprised too. Okay. So I just saw it, and I didn't look for too long because I still wanted to be a surprise. So I'm going to actually draw the bottom half just by using these two lines that you left for me here on this Okay, crease. I love it. Um, and I didn't do any, I didn't look at what you had either, but basically, like, those two little dashes are where some element of the creature ends. Like, did you typically do the, the like, waistline, or is it kind of like, who knows? Yeah, I did the waistline, and then, for example, like, 
something that I would recommend is actually having it be the creature's top half, be like like the frontal perspective. Mm. So like, for example, this little guy is from the front rather than having it be like a side. Sometimes you can, like, it totally doesn't matter, yeah. but if you wanted to do a front, that might help the person. If, if they don't know what you drew on the top, it might help them draw what's on the bottom just a little bit okay, easier. Okay, I love, love it. So now we're just, are you going to sketch first with pencil or are you going to go in with Sharpie? Yeah. I'm going to sketch first with pencil. I'm going to do a real rough. So okay. I'll, just, I'll just get going here. It might be Boy, hard to I'm see gonna, because I'm sticky. I just, I didn't even, I didn't even look at what I'm doing. So I just kind of went in and I'm going to just start with Sharpie. That's how I did the other drawings that I gave you. So I want to stand true to my like no sketching situation. I love it. And sometimes for those of you that um, are teaching in the classroom, sometimes if you literally only have a Sharpie, there's something fun about like, can't undo it. Gotta figure it out. You know what I mean? Yep. Oh, yeah. Completely. Yeah. Okay. I'm already concerned for my safety. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's doing something weird. I also like, you probably can't see it until it's Sharpie, but I like drawing little booties in my characters. So I'm like trying to figure out how I can add that. So if there's like stuff that you always like having with your characters, you can think about what that is too. Right, something that's kind of like your style a little bit that you typically yeah. have in here. Okay. Yeah. Um, yep. I love that. Oh, mm, I don't know what's happening here. I'm trying. I'm drawing like the bottom of a flower pot, maybe. Excellent. I dig it. So I dig we're gonna it. see what that becomes. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's got it's got some some creepiness to it for sure. I feel like I'm always doing cowboy boots, so we're just going with that, and we're going to see what happens. Maybe I'm going to do, like, some shorts, because it's almost summer, so I'm going to put, like, some little shorts on this yep. little guy. Get after okay. it. Do it. Might do, I might do little action lines. Yep. I like it. Yeah. Let's see. And, like, checkers are really popular right now, so I'm going to mm -hmm. give them some checkers. Pantaloons. Nice. Looks. I also like, like, for something that's kind of just a quick draw, whether it's you and I doing it, like, amongst friends, or whether it's with students, like, there's something yeah. that's nice about using a single drawing tool or, like, something kind of simple and not getting too detailed with it because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just for fun, right? It's just for so, fun. Yeah, just gives you a chance to kind of, like, loosen up a little bit. Yeah, and something As with I, these is like because they're so quick, they can also give you ideas for other drawings that you want to do because ooh. there's something nice about just like trying yeah. stuff. Yeah. And if it doesn't work out, that's okay. You just do another one. Yeah. And sometimes it gets kind of weird, and you're like, I don't know what's happening, but something kind of interesting came out of that. Like maybe I don't know. Speaking for myself, currently, <laughs> we get her. Oh, man, that's looking so good, oh, yeah. Sarah. There's like roots and stuff coming out of this thing. I love it. But I went in. I'm starting to do Sharpie now. I'm going in. Okay. I might do color. I don't know. I, love it. Go with it. I feel like, okay, I feel like since you and I started with, um, you know, kind of some prompts from each other and just gave each other something to start with, uh -huh. it was kind of nice to set, set the ground rules a little bit. Like, okay, it's mostly going to be black, but we're going to have, yep. you know, a little bit of color, like a little highlight with something simple, right? Totally. Um, but it could be kind of interesting to have no rules like that and just see what happens. Like, see yeah. where you're going to end up. Definitely. Sometimes it's fun, even just with, like, a group of friends, just bring a stack of paper and then see what happens with it. Yeah. Pass them around. Have the person finish the drawing. Just do, like, a little blind drawing. It is really fun, like, the whole element of surprise to give somebody something a little bit ahead of time, too. Right. Which I kind of love. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing too great on these checkers, but I'm just like going with it, and that's totally okay. Yeah, I um, don't I don't think there's any expectation that the checkers need to be perfect. Nope. You just go with it. Okay. Maybe I'll do like some decals here. See how that goes. Oh my goodness. This is this is a little weird. And then I always usually like if I do some version of the exquisite course with my students, I always have them like name their little creature too because the creature oh name is kind of interesting too that's a right? good idea yeah. yep so we'll definitely have to think of a name for it at the end and um you can also do this with like 
writing too. So if you want to write a sentence or a story and then somebody only can see the prompt from, um, you know, how you ended that story or, or that sentence rather, um, it can be kind Ooh, of a fun way to just add a little, little something, something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ketter, while we're drawing, what would you say is like some of your favorite subject matters to draw? Or like, what do you get, get drawn to when you when you start sketching? Oh my gosh, I, I usually start with um, actually start with words. So it's because I do lots of comics, I'm usually sketching out my panels mm. with words, of course. So I'm like thinking about what is the message or the idea that I want to do. And then I actually start coming up with imagery after that. That makes um, perfect sense. Yeah. And I like doing lots of topics around like mental health and things like that. So I'm always exploring like what are positive ideas around mental health that I can like illustrate in comic form. Also because comics are so playful, it like um, helps me even if I'm struggling with like anxiety or something just to like get something like goofy and fun yeah. out. Um, and think about other ways to like communicate things with images and stuff. Yeah. Um, kind of like I'm trying to think about how to draw a tumbleweed. I'm gonna oh. just go for it. I think it's happens. just a big old scribble, right? Yep, that's exactly like, what I'm doing. That's exactly what it is. Just scribble it up. Heck yeah. That's uh, my yeah, but I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm big into comics. That that's kind of like what I go for. And then like even I'm not a very good writer, I wouldn't say, but I it's like fun for me to practice like um, drawing. Little writing out things first yeah I feel like it helps me be a better writer when I do yeah, that absolutely um, it's like yeah. trying to find something that you're you're like eh, this isn't like my strength but if I maybe do it a little bit more it could help me or guide me a little bit too yeah exactly I will, I will, my... will say mm -hmm. even stuff like these these kind of drawing prompts like I don't consider myself like a huge quote-unquote drawer like I don't just sit and draw subject matters but like having to make a couple things for you Ketter it was like turning on my love of like oh I can draw weird little things this is so fun yeah I know so it was like really it was re really reinvigorating to just try something that was not what I would do if I was just drawing on my own but um yeah it gave me permission to like kind of mess around a little bit Thank okay. you. How, how far are you? Do you feel like you're ready for the reveal almost? I feel like I'm almost ready. I'm just adding a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I've always wanted like blue or red cowboy boots. So I'm just adding some blue to the boots. Yes. And I'm going to add just a little bit more green. And then I would say like two seconds. Okay. And so excited. There. How are you feeling? How's yours going? I oh my gosh, that's so good. I'm going to try not to peek because I keep wanting to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't honestly know what's happening and it might be like the beginning of a horror movie. I don't know, but you know what? It's fine. This could also be the same for me and that's okay. 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 Okay, let's let's turn it up to the, the, the front facing so that we can like actually see what it looks like. Okay. Because I got I got I gotta know. I gotta know too. Okay. I really wanna just look right now for myself, but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You do you want to? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> These are my little legs. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh. oh my god. It's so good. And it literally says, "I'm so happy for rain." I did not even know that was the one I picked. It's, it's so, so perfect. perfect. Okay. I love it. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I like that you chose a random one too. I didn't realize you did that. Yeah, did you like no. shuffle them up and then? I was trying I to just, like, connect two things amazing. without really, like, knowing knowing what was happening. <laughs> I love yeah, okay. it. I love it. Love it. Okay. Better. Please, show All me. Right. Here's the bottom half. Here's, like, we got, we got a little booty, yep. and we got, we're got we just we're running around, and then we're going to reveal the top. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. It's so it's silly. Nice too. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty great. I like that the bottom one has to kind of add like a little bit of the horizon line. Like we both yeah. sort of instinctively did that. I love it. I do so, too. Yeah. We do, okay. We, do, we, do. We, we have more. Can we do one more, Ketter? Yeah, we can. Sorry. Cats are all over the place here. Never yeah, apologize we can do for a cat. Never apologize. Okay. I'm I'm gonna do the thing that you did, where I'm gonna just choose a random. I'm yeah. gonna choose of, of the other three that you got, so that I don't know. Okay, because I want because the reveal is half the fun of being like, what's this actually going to be? Yeah. This is my chosen piece. Okay. okay. I'm going to, okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, this is, okay, I have a chosen one. Okay, all right. Here we go. Okay. Try okay. Again. I'm going back up. No planning. <laughs> Maybe. Except for I'm like, I don't know what a bottom half of a creature looks like, so I'll just have to figure out something. <laughs> Um, okay. Let's okay. see. This is stressful. The thing I'm struggling with is like, oh my gosh, the creature could be left or right. But you know what? I think it's going to be funny no matter what I its think, legs are doing. Yeah, I think that's kind of like fine if you sort of twist it around in a weird way, right? Yeah. Okay, I think we're both just killing time trying to figure out what we're going to draw. And I can feel that we're like, ooh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? I, I, don't know. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for some, I'm going to channel, I'm a huge fan of Adventure Time, so I'm just going to go for like some weird squiggly Adventure Time legs. Okay, I love that. And see what happens. I I really think I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to try to make a creature on a yeah. unicycle. Yep. So I, just, <laughs> I want you all to send me strength and love, loving kindness <laughs> <laughs> as, I, as I make this. For the first time yeah. in my entire life. I'm going for some socks, I think. I don't know. Maybe this is a tap dancer. That's, yeah. You know what? It's a tap dancer. That's what it is. Obviously it is. Yes, obviously. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Okay. So you have you done this with your students? The exquisite corpse a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I've done, like, folded into threes, folded into, like, multiple pieces, and then each person has a section, but you have to kind of be sneaky about how you, like, fold it over and leave the two little lines. It works a little bit better for, like, a a slightly older class that can kind of understand the concept of, like, trying to be, you know, a little bit sneaky, not give it all away, Um, but it's super fun. I love it. Okay, I wish I had, like, a way I always drew a shoe, but I kind of don't, you know? I don't either. I wish I had a shoe. Yeah. I'm going to introduce a secondary character to this, I think. Yeah, you are. Yep. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I would like to, but I, as promised, am having a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something okay. like this is really going to just set you free of any shame. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is. I feel like that's actually why it's like a really good practice draw. Yeah, like, dude. You know how like when musicians and mu- like people who sing, they like do the whole like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, I don't yeah. know. They go like la la la. That's kind of what we're doing with John. Yeah, we're, we're just, just like. like rip, 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 rip. Yep. Just that's a little right. bit of improv, right? Yeah. A little yeah. bit of a drumming improv. Mm, perfect. We're doing it right. Gosh, how, what does a bike look like? What do you think? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, that, that looks, where it's like it's good. And I, I also love that you've got like the little knee nubs on there. <laughs> it's, it's the only adorable. saving grace is the knee nubs. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't crack this cracking myself up. <laughs> like I can't even see what you're doing. All I'm, oh, those wiggly legs are so good. These are some little wiggly legs. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little knob. I like your little knee nubs. I'm gonna do it. I like that. I what if this like. guy's kinda like biking wrong, you know? Maybe that's yeah. part of his thing, and he's just yep. kind of like, I don't care. I can do whatever like, I want. I'm bike over I want. Yeah. Yeah. This person's, I think, going to be on a trampoline, I decided. Yep. I don't know why. That but... makes sense. Yeah. It's improv, baby. It's improv. It, it's improv, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing. Okay, and then I'm adding a little strawberry guy, I guess. Sure. Yep. That, that sounds about right. He, He's like, hey, let's do it. Let's let's be on this trampoline together. Oh gosh. Trampolines are actually super scary to me. What are? But I trampolines. Mm. All right, here we go. Are you adding color to this yeah. one? Oh, I think I will. I'm gonna try. How what are we at here timing wise? Twenty five. Yeah, we got time. We do a little color. Let's do some color. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do a pink strawberry this time. I think. Okay, here we go. Pink. I kind of hope you have the soda can so you can think of what you want to put in the speech bubbles. Oh my gosh, me too. I think the lines are, are thinner though, so I think it might be a different one, but I'm going to do that one later okay. if it's not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we what, were... markers, what markers were you using for yours? Yours were like nice and super bright. Well, I'm using um, 
these kind of like pastel highlighters, which are nice because I don't feel like like it takes all the color away. You know, you're not Ooh, just, like, taking away yeah from the from the sharpie. Yeah. So yeah. I was just using like a lighter marker, and then I did use actually some air ink markers, which are like super juicy and made from from uh, pollution, which is dope. But they were a little bit thick for some of it, so I just kind of switched to a more classic, um, like black marker. Nice. Yeah. I love it. We're going to do orange juice this time, I think. All right. Dude, this this guy is having many issues. <laughs> and this, this little ladybug is, like, really hoping to help. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. You're... <laughs> he's like, dude, something's wrong. Oh, man. I have a little speech bubble to mine. Let's see what this little guy is going to say. Should we ask the audience if anyone's here what should this little strawberry dude or say yeah 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 that's the audience know. oh yeah oh he's cute oh god he's so maybe. cute maybe yeah give us give us your suggestions everyone what should strawberry fellow say i also just yeah. like when coloring doesn't have to be full coloring i'm like yep that's how you color in a leg yeah. Yellow eyes. Can I have one? Is that one? <laughs> be just saying like strawberry kind of like says a... one of them says, Can I have one? One of them says jump higher. Um for your suggestions. Awesome. Jump higher. I'm gonna choose it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Kate. I I feel like I'm gonna just be ready for the reveal soon because otherwise I'm gonna I don't know try to draw a bike again and cry. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, I could be ready. I could be ready. I'm ready. Ooh, okay. okay. All right. Turn him up this way. Okay. Get this guy back. Okay. Boop, boop. Oh boy. There we go. Right here. I just saw which one it is, and I'm so excited. Okay, you have to do it first this time. Okay, here's the bottom. Saying jump high. There. Thanks, Megan. I think thanks, Megan, for the little for the little quote. And then, oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at these little strawberry yeah. little strawberry pins on this little gale. Great. Oh my gosh, that's great. Oh, it's so Woo! good. I want to see yours. Okay. Leg of a problematic <laughs> something <laughs> happening. <laughs> but yet. <laughs> it's so oh, confident. My. Gosh, it's so good. And it's like the legs are the right way, too. Oh, my God. And the, and the fish is just like, I couldn't care less. And you're like, you're going to die. <laughs> oh, my is gosh. Is the bug saying, sir? Better. That's great. Like perfect timing. These were so fun, and now I have two more that I get to make later tonight. If any of y'all drew with us, please tag the art event so we can see. And Ketter, where can people follow you for more of your like amazing drawings? Yeah, you can follow me right here on Instagram at Ketter Joiner Draws, and that's mostly where I'm posting. I'm trying to do more comics lately, so hopefully I'll do some more. But that's where you can find me posting amazing. stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for, like, giving me a Monday giggle. I enjoyed the, like, yeah. non-serious nature it's of just amazing. drawing silly things. Get her. It's my favorite. Thank you so much for asking me. I loved it. <laughs> Absolutely. This was perfection. So, y'all, we will see you, I believe, we're on again next week, Monday. So we will see you for some more Art Making Men. Ketter, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And everyone have a great week. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for joining.